Hello friends, this is the insurance pastor, the former music minister, the former construction worker, uh, hospital worker, uh, whatever you want to call me, father, husband, uh, youth coach, uh, I've done a lot of things, okay? And uh, one of the things I've, I've learned is to stay true to who God made you to be. Everybody doesn't always like that, but I want all of you to keep singing your song. Yes, there's a place for maturing and to be aware of the times and sometimes the method does have to change as you work out in the world or you, you relate to people. But at the same time, a lot of what made you you is still you and you need to be that and you need to do that. Uh, when I served uh, under Brother Hal Wynn in uh, North Fort Myers, Florida, at, uh, Northside Baptist Church, one thing he would say to our elders often was when it came to our music program is that not only did I know newer songs, but said, uh, and of course we were always committed to singing the classic hymns, uh, but he said, I knew the old gospel songbook, and I do. I've, I've, I've always done that. I, when I was a young child, I always appreciated music way older than me. And my daughters, uh, my oldest one, who's uh, up at uh, Truett Seminary at Baylor, who's uh, trying to finish her master's degree, and then my uh, youngest daughter, who's 12, uh, they like uh, the Beatles. They, uh, my youngest daughter loves the Monkees and loves a lot of the groups from over 50 years ago. And yet they also know the modern groups and they're aware of what they're doing. They like BTS, the, the Korean group. And uh, even myself, I know the old classic gospel quartets, the Blackwood Brothers, the Statesmen, the Lefevers, the Happy Goodmans, the Florida Boys. But, you know, uh, I'm friends with some Christian rappers and uh, I enjoy uh, listening to their music. Uh, my friend Alan Thomas and uh, Russell Sickler and uh, Calvin and, and Kimberly Cofield. Uh, and I ought to probably try to do something, see if we could do some hip hop with them one day. But I was listening to this song this afternoon and it hit me. I said, you know, I like this song. I don't apologize for liking it. And if you like what you like, listen to it and sing it and promote it. At Central Baptist Church, if you come to be with us, we're going to sing classic hymns. We're going to sing uh, some modern new songs, and we're going to sing some gospel music because we're pretty good at it. We can do it. We can. Uh, I make my kids listen to all kinds of stuff, and on well, Sunday morning when they're getting ready to go to church, sometimes it might be praise and worship. Sometimes it is um, uh, some Bible teaching. Sometimes it's a raucous Pentecostal group that they're shouting and jumping the pews and praising the Lord and the music is really intense. Uh, we do a little bit of all of it because I think there's a place for all of it. I dropped my guitar pick, so hold on just a minute. Okay. So I want to sing for you an old classic song that I heard a Church of God in Christ choir sing. Uh, it's an old classic uh, song out of the Redback Hymnal. It's called, Oh, I Want to See Him. You know what? Sing along with me. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the crimson flow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without within. Oh, but my Lord leads me on. Through Him I must win. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face There to sing forever of his saving grace On the streets of glory let me lift my voice Cares all past, home at last, ever to rejoice When in service for my Lord Dark may be the night, but I cling more close to him. He will give me light. Satan's snares may vex my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on. Through him I must win. Oh, I want to see him look upon his face. There to sing forever of His saving grace On the streets of glory let me lift my voice Cares all past, home at last, 
ever to rejoice when in valleys low i look toward the mountain high and behold my savior there leading in the fight with a tender hand outstretched toward the valley low guiding me i can see as i onward go oh i want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice oh cares all past home at last ever to rejoice when before me billows roll from the mighty deep then my lord directs my bark he doth safely keep and he leads me gently on through this world below he's a real friend to me oh i love him so oh i want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace and on the streets of glory let me lift my voice oh cares all past home at last ever to rejoice oh oh i want to see him look upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice oh cares all past home at last ever to rejoice yes my cares all past home at last ever to rejoice so yes keep singing your song there'll always be somebody try to shut you up and stop you but you don't let them somebody needs to hear that there's some of you older folks have been told to sit down and shut up don't do it keep going there's younger people that need to hear your classic songs they need to hear your stories and i promise you there's some of them that want to hear it okay somebody will tell you nobody wants to hear that they're lying they do sing it share your story be be who you are be the best you you can be but be that god made you special he made you who you are he had the influences in your life that that, that formed you and that was not a mistake i remember um, uh, I had a Baptist pastor counseling with me and I was telling him about my Pentecostal background and wondered how that worked in my Baptist upbringing and uh, Baptist ministry and he said did you think God made a mistake and I said no he didn't and so I started embracing that and the thing I love about it is I can go uh, sing southern gospel music and a lot of times many of my black friends love it I mean it's sung soulfully like I just sang this song and I found out just a lot of similarities. So if somebody's telling you to quit singing your song, don't do it. And if you say, well, they're going to fuss at me, just tell them I told you not to do it. To come see me about it. Okay, I'll, I, I, I'll talk to them. Okay, because I'm going to tell you, be who God made you to be. Now, if you all messed up and you got a, you know, a bunch of stuff needs to get fixed, now fix that. Okay. Right, but be who God made you to be. Keep singing your song. Some of you have been blessed by this song. If I had done what other people think I should do, you wouldn't have been blessed by it. Okay, quit caring about what every little criticizing person thinks and go be who you can be. Okay, and by the way, go, I can help you with anything. Holler at me. Insurance, counseling, ministering to you. A word of encouragement. I want you to write in here before I leave, though, what is your favorite gospel song? What is it? Write it in the comments. I'd like to hear it, and I'll sing it if you'll write it in there. If I don't know it, I'll learn it. Until then, till tomorrow, take care. God bless. See you then.